FCF is an absolute superpower for the terminal. I mean, you really need to know this thing. This one tool enables so much functionality, it's actually kind of mind blowing. But what the hell is FCF? Well, it's a general purpose fuzzy finding program. It's an interactive tool that implements a fuzzy finding algorithm that allows you to fuzzily find things through text or the outputs of other programs. Here, let me get into it. If you want to install FCF, just go to the repository in GitHub and scroll down to find the installation method for your machine. I use Arch, by the way. So for for me, I'm going to use Pac-Man to install FZF, but if you're using Mac, you can use Brew. If you're using Debian or Ubuntu, you can use Apt. Look it up and you'll find it out. It's pretty easy to find. Now for me, I use Pac-Man, but I have a front end for Pac-Man called Yay, so I'm going to use Yay-S and I'm going to install FZF. It's as simple as that. And there we go, FCF is installed. Next, you're gonna to wanna to set up your shell integration. So you wanna to go to your shell's configuration file. For me, I'm using Z shell. So for ZSH, I wanna to go to my ZSHRC file and add this line to my ZSHRC file. So I go to my ZSHRC file and I see that I already set this up before. So I have this line added. Once you add the line, you want to save and exit the file and then type source. ZSHRC that will resource the ZSH file implementing the new FCF fuzzy finding stuff for your shell integration. So let's have some fun. By default, FCF will search for all the files on your machine if you just type FCF. Pretty cool. You'll note that as you type, you'll start to whittle down the results and you'll finally find whatever file you might be looking for. Let's say I'm looking for a controller in this Rails application. I can scroll up to that using up or down and I can click on the user's controller and select it by hitting enter. Real quick gang, I just want to mention that this video was released early ad-free with accompanying tutorial material at typecraft.dev. Typecraft.dev is like our learning platform. We have amazing content here. We have full premium courses like NeoVim for noobs, Tmux for for noobs and a new Docker course that's gonna be completed soon. We also have amazing tutorials like the one you're watching right now. These tutorials get released early on this platform with accompanying tutorial material. Look at all this text. This makes it easy to learn by reading along while also watching along the videos. To sign up, just go to typecraft.dev and click on subscribe now. The senior engineering tier gets access to all kinds of goodies like our full set of premium courses, tutorials like this one that are released early, ad-free with accompanying tutorials tutorial material, special exclusive content, and more. It's $9.99 a month, but for a limited time, it is half off for a yearly subscription. So, so check it out if you want to support this channel. Now let's get back to FZF. There we go. Now FZF gives us back the file name that we were just searching for. Pretty cool. But there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with FZF that you might not have known about. FZF allows you to have a preview option, which you can use to preview the files that you're searching for. So if I type preview and I set that to cat, which is the cat program, it'll print out the contents of a file. Then I do the open and close squiggly brace, which basically adds the name of the file, the thing that FCF is searching for to the cat command. And then if I do that and I hit enter, I notice that there's something on the right hand side of my screen here. Interesting. So if I search for a controller, I can see that I have a preview on the right hand side of my screen. Pretty cool. So now I know what file I'm looking for. Hit enter to get back the name of that file. Now for this preview, you can use different programs. I like to use the bat program. Bat is kind of similar to cat, but it has better syntax highlighting. So I can use bat with the color equals always option. And if I enter this FZF command here, when I start typing for the controller that I want, user's controller, you can see that my preview is now perfectly syntax highlighted and it looks gorgeous. Bat really is very cool and combining it with FZF is amazing. So now you might notice that all we're doing is really just getting back the name of the file and that's not super helpful. What if I wanted to open my search results in a program like, I don't know, NeoVim? Well, what you can do is you can call NeoVim and set the output of your FZF command to be what NeoVim opens. So we do the same exact thing as before, where bat color equals always, and we open and close the squiggly braces, and then we close our parentheses and we hit enter. So now we're gonna search through all these files using FZF. And when we select one, we're gonna open it in NeoVim. How amazing is that? That's the easiest way I know of to search through all your files in your system and just open it in the editor of your choice.
that's pretty nice. But wait, it gets better. You see, FZF implements the M argument that allows you to select multiple files. So if I just type dash M into my FZF argument list and hit enter once again, when I start typing for my controllers in this project, I can select multiple files by hitting tab. So I can do tab for this one, tab for this one, tab for this one. Now, if I hit enter, NeoVim has opened up all of these files. I can type now tab space all, and all of those files are pushed into tabs. So now I can tab through all of my files in NeoVim. That's pretty cool as well. FCF has so many hidden tricks and features, it's really neat. So a cool thing you can do now is alias what you've just made. So we can copy this command here, just like that, and then we can open our ZSHRC config. And somewhere in our ZSHRC config, we can alias this new command to something, I don't know, INV for interactive NeoVim search, right? And we can just paste what we added before and now if we source our ZSHRC file, if we type INV, now we get this awesome fuzzy finding with syntax highlighting and we open up all of our files in NeoVim. Really amazing stuff. Another cool trick of FCF, because we've included the shell functionality by sourcing the FCF script in our ZSHRC file, is we can now autocomplete when we CD into a directory. So what we wanna do here is we wanna type CD, start typing out the directory we want to CD into, and then type star star. Star star is a thing that will tell FCF that we want to fuzzily find from here. Now if we type tab, we get a list of things we can fuzzily find for. So I'm looking for my Starship configuration configuration so I can just CD into my Starship configuration and here I am. Pretty cool, right? Another great tool that FCF gives you is the ability to kill processes by searching for them in a fuzzily findable way. Normally the way I would do this is by typing PS and then passing some arguments to it and then piping that output to grep and grep is a searching thing so I can search for that process. The process I want to kill is let's say it's Postgres, right? So now I get all my stuff. I can then copy and paste from here the process that I want to kill. And it's as simple as that. But with FZF, I get some cool tools here. So instead of having to actually run PS and then pipe that to a grep command, I can just type kill dash nine star star. And then I hit tab and I'm greeted with a list of all of my processes. This is FZF working. So if I then type Postgres, I'm greeted with all of my Postgres processes. Now I can just hit enter when I find the one I want and then hit enter again. And that process is now killed. Pretty sweet. FZF seriously is a superpower. I think it's amazing. Also for that command, we just aliased in our ZSHRC file. If we want to get rid of that, FZF has a really cool tool for this as well. We can type unalias and hit star star, and then we can hit tab. This will list all of the aliases in our ZSHRC config file, and we can just scroll down to the one that we want to unalias, hit enter, hit enter again. Now that command is unaliased in our ZSHRC file. So these are just a few of the cool tools that you get from FZF. I think it's an absolutely stellar program to use, and it's something that you need to know. If you're learning Linux or Unix, and you just want to know these tools in and out, FZF is an amazing one to learn. If you want to learn more about Linux, NeoVim, or Tmux, or any other cool tooling like this, then subscribe, and hey, Thanks, nerds.